And yeah. can you do a Cookie Monster impression? Owen Wilson. Samuel L. Jackson. Chris Evans. Anthony Hopkins. Yo, yeah. Chris Hemsworth. Nelly G. I know whole pages of heat. I was just, you know, I was just in Miami. Miami is a place where we come let go. Miami is a place where the sunset low. Every day like a Mardi Gras, everybody party all day. No work, go play, okay? So we'll sip a little something and the rest is meal. Me and Charlie at the bar running off the hot deal, not unless the meal. I mean, dressed How do you do that, man? Every time it is past, they were like, how are you? Hello, friends, I'm Fragmenter, and today I'll show you probably all Tom Hiddleston's impressions of different actors, characters, or even scenes from the movies. For your comfort, before each impression, I added a reference to the original. So, let's start with impressions of people, namely with Chris Evans. It's like looking at your grandfather. It's yes. it's, it's a strange feeling. But 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 the, it, it, it's still it's still, you know, it's it still had an effect. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> like, oh man. Okay. okay. Wow, Zach, Nerd HQ, man. It's pretty rocking. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Dude, like, <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a, dude, <laughs> really? I was watching it on TV, man. I mean, what? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> so cool. Oh my god, oh my god, just <laughs> mind blowing. Oh my god, dude, dude, dude. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> How do you fucking do that, man? Like that the the bit between your bicep and your trunk. Like what's that bump? Like fuck, man. I've been working out. I'm supposed to be Captain America, but you actually are Thor. Like, look at you. You are Thor. Like that guy. That guy is Thor. Chris Hemsworth is next. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Hemsworth and I'm going undercover on the internet. I'm Loki, uh, of Asgard. And I am burdened with glorious purpose. Get going. Um, uh, it's not this simple. It's not your natural state. Uh, you know, like, um, you know, it's the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation. Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the bright lure of freedom um, diminishes your life's joy. Um, basically, what I'm saying is. And cut. That's awesome. <laughs> and Hemsworth and Evans together. <laughs> uh, Messrs. Evans and Hemsworth were. I heard Chris saying. But how do you get this bit here? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Chris Hemsworth saying, I don't know, mate, like, just work out and stuff. <laughs> Couple of Alan Rickman's impressions. I'm gonna cut your heart out with a spoon! Why not an axe? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. I'm gonna cut your heart out with a spoon. <laughs> And then someone says, why a spoon, cousin? And he goes, because it's dull, you twit, it'll hurt. Whoa. <laughs> Excellent. The Avengers mascot. Mm. <laughs> now, Mark Ruffalo. The great thing about being an actor is they, you're invited into people's worlds that you normally would never be invited into. You, and you can't, and he was like, you can't, you can't stop, you know, because Scarlett will just give you that look, which is just like, <laughs> just what do you, what do you think you were doing? Jack Nicholson. I have given a name to my pain. Mysterious figure. And it is Batman. And I gotta Jordan. give a name to my pain, and yeah, that I forgot name about that. Jack is Nicholson. Batman. Jeremy Clarkson. I was the arse of a donkey once. <laughs> I ended up here as a result of that, but... And then the he did the obligatory... The greatest ass of a donkey in the world. <laughs> Incredible impersonating of Christopher Walken. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. You know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what... You like me to say, <laughs> basically, there's no punctuation <laughs> anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Sam Jackson now. Born in Washington, D.C., but grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mmm, I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious motherfucking purpose. And I turned up in my golden horns and a green cape, 
And, and, and the first thing he said was, Mmm, if you told me it was a costume party, I'd have brought mine. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Wilson on three different shows. That's a good idea. Maybe I ben and I should do that. I think so. Yeah, it'd be a good bonding thing. I, don't, I, I would hope that we wouldn't get on each other's nerves. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, it's kind of it's cool and it's kind of woody and you just kind of, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> no, it's not this simpler. Um, you know, like, it's just not your, 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 your natural state. Um, you know, it, you know, it, it's the unspoken truth of humanity that, uh, that you know, you crave subjugation. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh no, no, I'm from now. I, 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 there's a, I go back in time. There's a time machine. I, I play this, uh, this writer. I play. I'm, I'm from LA, and I'm writing these sort of average movies. But I wish I was you and Hemingway. And so I. Go back in time, and I'm married to Rachel, but she's kind of an ass. But I mean, in a charming way. And and then anyway, forget that. But you're playing Fitzgerald, and that's awesome. What about Sir Anthony Hopkins? My personal feeling about it is the third is the last. You know, it's a, such a good movie, this one. And uh... hey, have you had him on the show, Top Gear? Oh yes, I'd love to be on the show. I'd like to drive fast around the track. We can talk drive by the stick, stick. Great man, great man. I'd love to. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Zachary Levi. Uh, can I get an impression of you? Um, it would be, you would sound incredibly sexy and intelligent, first of all. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Well, you would sound incredibly sexy and intelligent, first of all. No, don't. This is the Nerd HQ. For me, Chris Evans, Alan Rickman and Owen Wilson are the most accurate. But Tom can only show people, he is also able to impersonate characters, like the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Work out here. It's okay. Shere Khan, performed by George Sanders. And now for my rendezvous with the little lost man cub. A man cub? How delightful. Cork by Taika Waititi. My name is Cork. I'm kind of like the leader in here. I'm uh, made of rocks, as you can see. Hey, bro. My name is Cork. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just made of rocks. My... And also Master Yoda. Ah, hard to see the dark side is. Lucky, mean he is, badass he is also, <laughs> god of mischief he is, awesome he is not. <laughs> Cookie monster. Me no, me smelling it. Cookie! Ah. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> me want cookie. Me want cookie. Me wait. Me not want to wait. Me want cookie now. And Ali G. Today we is chatting about education. Let's talk about something that people don't like to chat about. The true test of that, the perfect waltz, is for like the candle to not be extinguished by the dancing, is it? <laughs> is it Miss Cushing? <laughs> <laughs> Tom makes characters no less cooler than people, but that's not all, he is able to combine this. Like on the Graham Norton show, he acted out a scene from the movie Heat, with the participation of Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, right in front of Robert himself. You know, we're sitting here, 
You and I are like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. If I'm there and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But I'll tell you, if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. If I'm there <laughs> and I gotta put you away, <laughs> I won't like it, but if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and so then, and then it cut, and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. What if you do got me boxed in? And I gotta put you down. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my... Hey. So you never wanted a regular type life? The fuck is that? Barbecues and ball games? Yeah. So you never wanted a regular type life? <laughs> and, and, uh, Bob, may I call you Bob? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bob says, um, what's that? Barbecues and ball games? Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite Tom's impression, because I love this movie, I love De Niro and Al Pacino, and Tom made this scene almost perfectly. And what about you guys? Which Tom's impression do you like the most? Write in the comments. And now the final ones with a couple of songs from Tom. And the first one, Simple Twist of Fate by Bob Dylan. They sat together in the park As the evening sky grew dark they sat together in the park As the evening sky grew dark She looked at him and he felt a spark Tingle to his bones T'was then he felt alone It hit him like a freight train Moving with a simple twist of fate and one more verse of Will Smith's Miami. Yeah, we all know that LA and Philly stay jiggy, but I'm the snake, man, bring you heat for real. Y'all don't understand. I never seen so many Dominican women with cinema tans. I mean, this is the plan. Take a walk on the beach, draw a hut in the sand, give me a hand. Damn, you look sexy. Let's go to my yacht in the West Keys, ride the jet skis, lounge under the palm trees. Cause you gotta have cheese for the summer house peace on South Beach. Water so clear, you can see to the bottom. $100,000 cars, everybody got them. Ain't no surprise in the club to see Slash Stallone, Miami, my second home. <laughs> so guys, let me know if you like this format by giving thumbs up or leaving a comment and check Chris Hemsworth's bloopers whom Tom impersonated in this video. Thank you and goodbye.